How's it going, everybody? I'm Drifty from Driftwood Gaming, and this is a quick Godot tutorial on how to move a sprite around on a scene. So open up Godot 4, make a new project. We're going to start by making a 2D scene. It's going to create a node 2D. Then what we want to do is create another node. Uh, so we're going to right-click it, add a child node, or you can hit Control A. We're going to type in sprite and add a sprite 2D. Now uh, it's going to ask for a sprite. A new project will come with an icon.svg, so we can drag that over to the texture, and we can drop it, and uh, that'll work for that. We're going to click on the 2D if we're not already there to change our scene. We're going to left-click this and drag this. Middle mouse will zoom in. We can middle-click to move this around. We'll put it in the center here. If you want to change your settings uh, to change the size, you can go to Project, Project Settings, click on Window, and change the width and the height to decide what resolution you want your game to be. We're gonna put this sprite in the center for now. We have signed it a texture. We don't need to mess with anything else. We're gonna right click it. We're going to attach a new script. We're gonna call this one movement and we're gonna hit create. And uh, inside here, we've got a basic placeholder uh, script. It's extending sprite 2D. This is the ready function, which it calls and runs this code once when the node is instantiated which will be when the scene starts it will try to run this every frame of the game and delta will cause it to run smoothly no matter what frame rate you're using usually you would just do an underscore under delta for most of the time you're accessing underscore process but for this instance we're actually going to use delta to help us stay smooth no matter what frame rate that we are using. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna make some adjustments to underscore process, and we're going to make a few conditionals to check to see if we're pressing keys. So we've uh, written in some input is action pressed functions. It's giving me some red because we haven't defined uh, what speed is. So at the top, we're gonna to make a variable. We're gonna call it speed, and we're gonna set it to some arbitrary number, let's say 300 for now. That uh, seems fine. This means how many per second, since we're using Delta. 300 pixels per second is what we're going to be moving. Looking at the uh, conditions that I just put inside the process function, we're using input dot is action pressed, and then we're using UI right for the directional pad or controller, anything that's registering as a user interface right button. Uh, and then we're saying, uh, we're adding a condition that says we could either be pressing the right button or we can use input dot is key pressed and we're using key underscore D to make sure that WASDA also works when we are setting this up and uh, we use a colon. We don't need any brackets or anything. We're say position dot X, which is going to take this position of this node that this script is attached to. So in this case, the sprite itself, we're going to move the sprite node around its X value. We're going to increase by our arbitrary speed times Delta. So uh, every second that we're holding either right or the D button, it's going to move the sprite 300 pixels to the right. And we're going to basically copy this and paste it again. We're going to change the right to say left, the key from D to say A. We're going to change the plus to a minus. So instead of adding to the X value, we're going to subtract from the X value. We're going to copy that and paste it again. And this time we're going to change the X to be a Y because we're going to change the Y value. When we press up, we want to subtract from the Y value. So uh, when we press key W or up, it's going to subtract 300 from uh, the position. And then copy paste it one more time. When we press down or we press the S button, it's going to add to the Y, which will push it down. We're gonna hit control S and it's gonna ask us to save the scene if we don't have it already. We'll call it movement touch or whatever you wanna call it. And then we'll hit play. And since this is the first time that we've made a scene, it's gonna ask us which scene do we wanna to default to? Just say select the current one. Or if you have a different one, you can do that. Uh, and now if we press up, it moves us up. If we press down, it moves us down. If we press left, we go left, we press right. And same thing, if we use WASDA to move around, we can press W to go up, and then we can press S to go down, and A to go left, and D to go right. And that's basically it. That's going to do it for this tutorial on how to move a sprite around uh, in Godot 4. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up, like, favorite, share, subscribe to the channel if you want more Godot tutorials. Let me know in the comments below if there's something specific you would like to learn how to do in Godot. That's it. Love you guys very much. We'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.